Let's go now to John in Lake Mary. John, you're on News Talk, WDBO. Go ahead. Hello, Tom. Um, I own a house that I, um, that I lease out. The tenants may have not kept the house as property in the standard, uh, standards required by the lease. All right. I want, I want to know what can I do to protect my investment and recover any losses beyond their deposit. Are your tenants still in there? Uh, well, actually, they're not. So your tenants are out. You've had an opportunity to go into the house. You have found that they've trashed it. You have a security deposit, but that name may not be enough to cover your damages. That's right. John, your remedy is to sue them. Unfortunately, there's nothing else available to you. Does that okay. answer your question? Well, but, but, but a little more detail here. What should I do to verify should i have like an independent inspector go in and take pictures and then get estimates is that the way the best way to do that well if you went to court to sue your former tenants for your damages the the burden of proof would be on you john so first of all there's a good chance that the tenants are not going to show up you're going to get a default judgment against them the judge is going to take a quick look at your list of damages and say john that's fine here's a piece of paper that says they owe you x amount of dollars If your tenant did show up in court and now you have to prove your case, you cannot come in and say, John, John, you cannot come in and say, yeah, they did damage to my air conditioner and it's going to cost $200 to fix. And they did damage to my plumbing and it's going to cost $300 to fix. You're going to have to prove those damages, those amounts. Right, right, right. So Uh it starts by doing your small claims court, seeing if you can get a default judgment against your tenants and otherwise be prepared to prove your case, John. Now, A real question might be is, you know, how do you get these, avoid getting these kinds of tenants in your property in the future, John? And what I might recommend to you is, is to get a letter from their previous landlord or landlords, call their previous landlords, see what kind of tenants they were. And that's probably going to tell you a whole lot about whether or not you want to rent to them or not.